everyone and welcome to the video. Today we are going to be 3D printing a Death Star birdhouse. So what this video is going to be mainly is, is time lapse of the actual printing process. And then me kind of discussing the model. Uh, you'll find the model link and everything in the description. Link, uh, credit, all that's down there. But today we're looking at a Death Star birdhouse. So let's kick off to the first round of print. You wondered why you were just... So the first one's done. Of course, you print it in half. Um, what's really cool about this model is it doesn't require barely any support in the model. And oh, <laughs> I printed the cap. So once you put the two sides halves together, you got your birdhouse. But this guy's about the size of a softball. Not very big. Not a lot of birds kind of fit in this thing. So we're gonna jazz it up a little bit. I did print the cap that comes in the model that you can slot in to make it look like the actual Death Star. So this one to me, for the birds in my area, because I'm in Missouri, you know, this guy's a little small. Maybe some finches could use it, but this guy's gonna go on my shelf as a model. We're gonna go to this next print, which is, I'm changing the model and sizing it up 150%. So enjoy the print.
So I printed it 150%. Now this guy looks pretty cool. Now if this piece is a second Sorry, model, I'll link it. Stupid Apple. All right, so we're done with the second round of print. And actually, there were three prints involved here. So here's the full put together thing. And this piece here is actually a different model that I'll also have down in the description. But to get this to go together, I did have to use my Dremel and grind out a little bit in the midsection to get it to foot together. Then I just went to your, you can go to your nearest local hardware store and I bought the hook. So we can get this guy outside and on my front porch. Um, I'm a big Star Trek, Star Wars fan, like science fiction a lot, so this was pretty cool of a print to find. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse. If you're curious how I did the time lapses, I used Octoprint. It's a built-in feature within the Octoprint system, that's why you see that uh, watermark down in the corner of the actual print process. If you guys enjoy these videos and want to see more of the crazy things that I print, because actually I'll give you, before I let you go, I'll give you an actual size comparison. There's the first print at 100%. This was 150, so definitely worth uh, the up in size. You could take it to 200%. On my CR10 that I printed this with, I was able to print both halves on my printer at the same time. If you go up any bigger, you're gonna have to print one half at a time. Um, this one was printed on a Ender 3. 100%, um, I was able to get all three pieces on one print. This model does have where it looks like the Death Star is firing too. So that's a pretty cool little feature, but also link the cowl. This took about two hours to print um, that you can add in um, that gives it a peg for them to grab and get in and also a rain cowl to keep the rain from going inside the curb. So definitely kind of something you want to think about if you do want to print these. So hope you guys enjoyed and to the model maker, thank you. An awesome model. I highly recommend printing if you're a Star Wars fan and you do like the wildlife around your house. Great model. Thank you guys. See you next time.